Hey, what's up, YouTube? Victor back again with Celebrated Victories. Give you another video. And um, today is a good day. It's a beautiful day outside. Woke up, um, chilled a little bit with my son, did a little bit of stuff in the backyard. And now I'm actually gonna go fill up an ATM, which I'm gonna show you guys that. I'm gonna show you how long it takes, because I'm gonna time it, how long it takes for me to fill up an ATM. Um, another thing I wanna show y'all, check this out, okay? So I got this shirt done months ago from a lady in my neighborhood. She did it for me and I just kind of had it like tucked away in my dresser and I didn't really like see it out of sight, out of mind type of thing. And um, so I seen it today, I was digging for some shorts. I found some shorts, I seen the shirt. I'm like, oh, let me rock this, man. It's, you know, I gotta start repping, repping who I am, what I do. And it's pretty dope. I definitely like it a lot, okay? It's definitely clean. Um, so I'm gonna start rocking it. But I just wanted to share that with you guys and show you what I'm working with today. All right, CV, Team CV, welcome to the team. If you're not a part of it, subscribe, join the squad. All right, so now, going back to what I was talking about, um, I got a few things I gotta do today. I got a dog coming this afternoon. And then, um, so I'll be back home for that, obviously. And then, what else? I'm gonna go fill up this ATM. I gotta go to the postal service to go deliver something or send something to another client. Now, again, what I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna drive to my ATM. I'm gonna go fill it up. I'm gonna record how long it takes. That way we can see how long it takes to fill up an ATM. That way you guys have a general idea. And maybe we could discuss, you know, the timing of, of an ATM, how much time you need to invest. Obviously that's something that's gonna be um, different across the board from everybody. You know, it might take somebody X amount of time to get a bank account. It might, somebody, it might take somebody more time or less time. You know, it just kind of depends on the individual. Um, travel time to go fill up an ATM, that's important travel time to go get the um uh to go get the actual money out of the bank that's important you know so it's kind of hard to say hey you're gonna you're gonna invest 10 hours a week or not, i mean that's a lot um into your atm business so what i'm gonna do with this video i just want to give you guys a quick glimpse um as far as like how long it takes for me to um to fill it all right and i'm gonna go in there i'm gonna put the, i'm gonna put my camera down that way y'all can see me and we're gonna time it and see exactly how it takes how long it takes before we get to that point i want y'all to take a guess a lot of y'all probably know this already but for the people that don't know this or haven't done this leave them in the comments below let me know how long how many minutes how many hours how many days you think it takes it doesn't take days it doesn't take hours either but how many minutes it takes to just refill an atm all i'm going in there and i'm gonna clean it too i'm gonna briefly clean it and i'm gonna free fill it and i want y'all to give me y'all guesstimate all right so i'll see you guys there all right y'all let's ride
in, go out, do what you got to do, and that's it. All right, that's it. Pretty simple, guys. Um, now what I'm going to do, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the post office. I got to go deliver something, and we'll see what else the day has for me. I'll talk to y'all later. So real quick, while I'm at it, okay, I did my day total after I filled up the ATM, and I'm going to talk about that real quick. What a day total is, it's going to go over um, pretty much... It's hard to explain. Pretty much the time frame from the last time you put money in or the last time you hit day, to, day total to this time. And it's going to compile all the statistics during that time period to let you know how much money your ATM withdrew, um, how much money is currently in there, how much money we dispensed, how much, how much money you made in profits, surcharge. Um, all that good stuff from that time period. So I have mine right here and I'm gonna talk about it. That way I can give you guys some insight on what an ATM makes. And this is a this is a true insight. Like some people make it seem where you're gonna just put an ATM and make thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And these are just common numbers with this ATM specifically. This one is a good ATM that does well. Um, it's pretty busy. From July 15th to today, which is July 25th. All right, this ATM generated $175 in surcharge. I know there's people out there that are like, oh, ATMs are going out, ATMs aren't gonna be performing like that. I mean, if you look at it from the perspective of what you're getting on your investment, if you're paying $2,200 on the on an ATM, and then every 10 days, if you get a location that's you know similar to this, every 10 days you're making $175, I mean, that's a no-brainer versus dropping, you know, a hundred thousand dollars on a house that you're buying and then you rent that out one you're probably taking a loan out to buy that house so you got to pay back that mortgage all right and then you're getting probably what um eight hundred dollars depending on you know for a hundred thousand dollar house you're probably gonna get six six seven hundred dollars of, of rent out of something like that you know what i mean so when you calculate it that way Plus that not even including the mortgage that you have to pay back versus that $2,200. It's not a big investment that you have to, you know, take to make $2,200. Anybody should be able to save up $2,200 within six months or a year, you know. Um, so a lot of people kind of have that perception that ATMs are going out of business or ATMs aren't going to be performing. You know, ATMs ain't going nowhere. All right, I've been in this industry for the last year, over a year, and I've seen my ATMs actually grow and make more money as time went on one because people are understanding that there's an atm there um two because um especially now statistically with with the with the coronavirus and everything that's going on um there's more germs that are being spread through plastic than it is cash okay because plastic is being used in different areas you know over and over and over right by that same person get, getting in touch by another person and then giving it back to that same person all right versus cash it's just kind of you know it's not being handled as much and this is statistically you know if you look it up online you do some research because i've done my research i'm not going to just tell y'all stuff that i that isn't true okay um but statistically yeah you're you're less likely to get germs from cash than it is versus credit cards and debit cards and things like that and those keypads where you got to put your pin code in think about how many people are touching that versus how many people touch your dollar bill in the last two hours you know what i mean and that could be used as a selling point too when um you're trying to talk to uh, business owners about getting the atm in their business you can use that fact on why they should have an atm and why they should promote more um cash only transactions um so those, those are just things to consider but going back to my original point all right um a good reference a good spot for an atm is anywhere when you're making about 300 dollars and up if you can get a spot that, that's making 300 dollars, and if you're doing what um a three dollar surcharge you three times how, how many how many times you need so you need a hundred dollar a hundred transactions in order to make you know three hundred dollars that's not that's not a lot you know but again if you're getting in this industry transparency across the board you will probably have to move atms you're probably gonna find a spot thinking it's good and it's not gonna do well it happens it's part of the business and you're not gonna just be putting atms left and right and you know thinking they're just gonna magically perform 500 600 700 dollars there's gonna be some that are gonna be a fluke there's gonna be some that you're gonna be making a hundred dollars and that's up to you like eh, am i am i willing to make this hundred dollars and keep it here or should i move it to a potentially new new place and hopefully that makes more money so um just some insight you know just some good insight for y'all 
um, that are fresh into the business, that are thinking about getting into the ATM business, because, um, you know, you got to be transparent with this stuff. All right, I'm trying to be transparent with this stuff. You know, I don't want to be trying to pull the, the wool over your eyes and tell you, hey, hey man, in six months, you're going to be making $10,000. Nah, it ain't going to happen. I guarantee it's not going to happen. Um, but either way, I hope this stuff helps. I'm on my way to the postal service. Got to drop some. Got to drop off the delivery. Hello. How are you today? I'm just trying to do a delivery. Yeah, just trying. To, I mean, it's gonna be in an envelope. It's something small. I will talk to y'all in another video. If you have comments, if you have questions, hit me up. My email is in the video description as well. Like the button, uh, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so. We're approaching a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars, hear me? We're approaching a thousand subscribers, which is absolutely like mind blowing to me. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't even imagine getting to five subscribers because, you know, six months ago I was at a big whopping donut. All right. Um, so y'all, y'all, um, support is really appreciated. Trust me, it doesn't go, go unnoticed. I want y'all to understand that. Yeah, I'll talk to y'all in another video. Hold up, hold up, hold up, real quick before you guys go. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so by hitting this button right here. And if you want to check out some more of my content, be sure to click right here. Talk to y'all later.